Howdy, Citrix Shop here. Today I'm going to show you how me and this compact tractor installed this driveway. I wanted to start one of these projects that I've had on my mind for a while now that it's uh, nice weather. Um, here is the back of my workshop and it's also the entrance to my what I'm considering my automotive garage. Um, my driveway you can see kind of ends betwixt the barn and the workshop. What I want to do is extend it and kind of make a turnaround where you can pull into the workshop and kind of gravel in all of this. So I'm going to dig down, uh, lay some roadbed fabric, lay some large stone, some medium stone, and then probably some smaller stuff to match what is already on top of the, the driveway. So let's get started. I'm gonna spray out my lines, give myself kind of a guide with the tractor and see how it goes. Basically all I've done here is just paint that orange marker as kind of a guide as I'm carving out the dirt with my tractor.
I think I got carried away with my original grade. I think that was probably too deep. But I'm kind of liking how this middle area is. And I should be able to fill that in just fine when I cut this uh, corner back out here. But hopefully you get the concept of what I mean about uh, this U into the back of the workshop. And then I'm also going to gravel to the left of the door just to get out that grassy area. It's basically all just weeds. All right, well, the sun's going down and I feel like that was enough uh, playing around in the dirt for one day. I started this project a little later in the day, but next time I'm at it, I'll just remind myself I'm building a driveway and not a basement. Back on my driveway addition project, day two, gonna get uh, my grade established finish cutting my line that way I know exactly how far out it's gonna go and work inward so let's see how it goes
Okay, so I got all the grass sweeped up, um, cut down just a little bit. Now what I think I'm gonna do is I've adjusted the box blade and I think I'm gonna try and cut my edge real clean and smooth all of this out. I tested it with the truck and this is the, the turning radius that I needed to get my truck into the back of the workshop just behind the camera there.
that's a lot better. Uh, I'm not quite perfect. I got a little bit of practice yet on the box blade, but a little bit of handwork just to clean up some of this and uh, I think it'll be good for fabric. So it's stone day here. Got number two recycled concrete. Uh, this will be the base for the driveway. And then uh, once I get all this spread out, I'll order another truck, uh, some smaller 304 recycled concrete. In case you're wondering, this is what 20 tons of number two looks like. Let's get started. As you can tell, I already got the road fabric down. I had laid it down in anticipation. Talking with the plant, they didn't have enough number two crushed for me to purchase, so I was kind of waiting on the rain. We've all been getting rained out, so now that they got the rock delivered to me, spread this out on the tarp, hopefully it goes pretty smoothly. Now I have most of the stone kind of spread out to cover the tarp and got most of the stuff I was using to hold it down out of the way. Um, I'm going to use what's left of the pile to cover out some of the shallower spots and then I'm going to be grading this out to try and get the base as flat and as compact as possible. I'll show you my stone pile. Out of the 20 tons, here is what's left. I've kind of been pushing it around, but um, should be plenty to finish this bit of driveway here. I think 20 was about perfect for what I needed. It's second stone day. Beautiful day now after yesterday was almost snowing on us. This today is a load of 304 recycled concrete again. 
it's everything from inch and a half to dust. We're gonna get it spread over this base course stuff and it'll lock it into place and make us a nice driveway. Let's get started. Got another beautiful day and another load of the 304 recycled concrete. Gonna finish this last little patch that I still have to cover and blend it in with what's already completed. And uh, you noticed I had two dumps here. Same truck, just two different piles. This one to finish what I got and then blend into the existing driveway, the smaller pile to cover kind of a top layer of what that driveway is coming into this one. So it'll be a smooth transition. A little windy today, but blue skies and uh, hopefully get this knocked out.
So now that all that's done, let's talk about some numbers. Cost, I guess, was the road fabric. Road fabric for a roll, which only used about half of what was available on the roll, if that, for this particular project, $438 from Lowe's. Had the special order it. They don't get too many orders of that at my Lowe's, they had told me, so. The only thing with it is it's 12 and a half feet long, so it'd be hanging out of your truck pretty significantly if you don't have a trailer, something to think about. The stone decision. So choosing recycled concrete over limestone was a massive savings. Recycled concrete isn't available everywhere. Uh, there's a plant near me where I'm lucky enough that it's available to me. Difference of for the base material, which is the larger number two stone, that was $18 a ton for the limestone versus the $12 a ton for the limestone which might not sound like that much of a difference, but it's the base, which you're covering up, you're not actually seeing it anyway. That difference in $6 adds up over the 20 tons it took to complete this particular project, and it only multiplies the larger your project becomes. For the top coat, a huge savings, a difference from my plant, $12 for the recycled concrete per ton, for the 304 versus $28 for the equivalent of crushed limestone, which was just a no-brainer for me. So each truck was around $430 to $60, depending on how much tonnage they could fit in the truck per load. You're gonna get more tonnage out of the smaller stuff because it can fit more in the truck versus the big stuff, which has a lot of gaps betwixt each stone, taking up more room means you can put actual less material into a dump truck. The other thing with this project is the centerpiece. You see me kind of working around. I wanted to keep this grassy area. What I'm gonna end up doing is taking some of the topsoil that I skimmed off of here to build the driveway and kind of recoating this and building it up a little bit to move my fire pit into the center and then I'll have to reseed this in the fall. So I'm sure if you watch any of my future videos, you'll see the progression of this project. I'm not a fan of handheld footage, but let's give this a shot here. So there you have it. My first gravel driveway insulation. I got another one that uh, I want to put on the other side of the barn. So hopefully you'll be seeing that here shortly. But overall, pretty happy with it. Saved a lot of money doing it myself and saved a lot of money going with the recycled concrete. This is a longer video than I normally make. So let me know what you think of the production of this video. If you have any questions, comments, Leave them below.